This is everybody at A with a podcast. You know, this sponsored by CoStar Studios and the Mac Juice. And you know, it's your boy J Mac, the social moderator. Your boy Banks is in the building. And Mia's here too. And today we are talking about <laughs> pillow talking. And I guess the question is, why do the why do males or females pillow talk? I think, Ed, you should preface them about what pillow talking is. Like, get them a definition. Or more of, like, what is pillow talking? In case niggas don't know. Because mm-hmm. they do be, let me see, about 85% of niggas be out here pillow talking. Pillow talking is you talking to a woman. And when y'all talk, you're bringing up another male female or female male or female it don't matter yeah and you talking down on that nigga for you to get some ass like it don't work like that bro is like he just that, ass or is he just in general? just trying to get play yeah. in general okay cool all that all of the above goddamn all of the above. this shit happens most of y'all might not believe it. this shit happens every fucking day every day every single day every whether day. it's a nigga dming a woman that she don't know like damn when you gonna stop fucking with the nigga Niggas, that shit pillow talking when you do that. Pillow talking. That is pillow talking. When you, damn, when you gonna stop fucking with, bro? That's pillow talking, bro. It leads to it. That's like the first stage of that shit. So, what's the question? The question is, why do we, why they be pillow talking? Or the question is, like, what, what are we asking? Like, why do they pillow talk or who be pillow talking? I ain't gonna say who, because, you know, I ain't, I ain't gonna do no name dropping this shit. But sometimes it do be your own niggas doing that shit. Facts. So then that's what we got to ask Mia. Mia, what do you think pillow talking is? Especially from your perspective. From my perspective, like, honestly, as a woman, I don't, I mean, I'm not going to say women don't pillow talk because I, I don't know because I don't do that shit. But they do. <clears throat> you know, I feel like if you got to talk down on somebody else to get some ass, I really don't feel like it's worth your time. Whether you a male or a female. It's not worth your time if you guys sit there and go through a whole spiel about, I don't understand why you keep fucking with this bitch. You see she don't treat you right. Ma'am, if he was going to fuck, he was going to do it whether you said that shit or not. So, in my mind, it's a waste of your time. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I can see that. But for me, I think pillow talking like on, on I think of it as like high end and low end pillow talking. Okay, we we'll, okay, okay. okay. Elaborate. Yeah. Elaborate. Okay, so high end pillow talking is you intentionally trying to do some shit to to like make yourself seem better. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So like of course you're gonna talk bad about somebody to get some attention from a, another girl, you know what I'm saying? Or a guy if because it can go both ways. Right. I think that's that's high end pillow talking, which is the worst type. When you are when you have motives behind telling somebody something okay. in order to gain. Low end pillow talking is for people that are like I feel like are in uh relationships or something like that and they be telling people what be going on and it forced them to feel a certain way about somebody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like low end pillow talking would be like you know somebody that's a boyfriend or girlfriend, you know your nigga be doing a bunch of crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? Then yeah. you going and telling her like, yeah, we did this, we did, he did this, and then you know now your girl or whatever, somebody feel a certain way about them, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I, I get what you saying. So that's what my thing is like. High end pillow talking is like intentional. Low end, low end pillow talking is like unintentional, but you giving, but you still making some shit come out to be negative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can y'all see that, or this like, or is that? No, I see, I see, I see what you're talking about. With but with the, but with the low end. Is it not still intentional? Like they would just say, like let's 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 do this same thing. Let's say me and you was dating, mm-hmm. and so we we you and Aunt go somewhere. So Aunt see you doing some wild shit. So he come tell me, uh-huh. is that not intentional? Because I feel like what you not no offense. I feel like you should say something, but why would you betray your loyalty to your nigga to tell me unless you? Because I feel like you try to talk to me at that point, like. You Maybe, know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to say it like this. Maybe he just want to tell you like, oh, I had a good time, but so-and-so did this. Uh, but you still you still would be, in this scenario, you would be my girlfriend. So I'd just be telling you what we did on some shit like that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Not intentionally trying to make him look bad. I'm just telling you like, damn, this is what happened. He did this and he did that. 
But little did we know they kind of rubbed you wrong. Mm. But he yeah. didn't really necessarily know it was going to turn out like that. But y'all can't say y'all friends haven't tried to pillow talk to a female that y'all are knowingly talking to to make themselves seem more applicable to the female. No, I, I'm not going to. I ain't going to lie. I hate to say it. But based off of ant definition, I have pillow talk before. <laughs> For sure. Like, if, if we Boy, ain't no out, way, boy. If we going out with Ant said. Boy, ain't no way, boy. This when I was younger. Though. This when he was young, though. Yeah, this when I was younger. Though. I know what you talking about. This when he was young. This so. when I was young. When I was younger, I was a hater. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I was hating like a motherfucker. I ain't know I was a hater, though. There's accountability, though. You you know, and you admitting to that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? But that's still, it's still fucked up. I was pillow talking. I was, do- I was doing it. I mean, but did you know you were doing it? Back then, not really. It wasn't as... What, prevalent as it is now? Yeah, now this shit is just like... Niggas really doing this shit, like, on a daily. And I was in high school, so I mean... And it don't even be, like... It don't even be niggas that you don't even know. It be your own, like, literally your own niggas. Like, I've had close friends that did this shit to me. Pillow talk, do you? Yeah. Hell no! Nah. I swear, this shit is some <laughs> recent shit that just happened. Like, close, I thought the nigga, I thought it was my nigga, and I can't even, you know what I'm saying? I can't rap with you, bro. Damn! Now, now, now that's fire. If you a nigga, and you out here doing it, use a fuck nigga. I ain't gonna lie. On me, that shit, that shit is sad, bro. That's I was gonna shit. say I'm a female. I don't think that's ever knowingly happened to me, but I've seen it happen to other females, and I'd be like. Y'all really pillow talking that nigga? The niggas don't even be worth it. That's number one. They be pillow talking to a nigga that ain't even the cutest. It just be females. Like, females do. Females do pillow talk, but it don't be as bad as niggas. No, it be worse because I'm gonna keep it a stack. Dudes are more petty. Yeah. Oh God, niggas are more petty. Like a bitch tell you something, you might even be like, "My fuck that bitch." Oh God. Well, yeah, we do. Oh, to God. The, that be the first thing we say. That's the first thing. Oh God. I just feel like as a man, you shouldn't do that shit at all, though. Uh. But I mean, how you in a low end? In my like in, in my world, how you in a low end? You think both of them should be eradicated? Man, fuck that high end, low end shit. You shouldn't do that shit at all. Like, you shouldn't bring up another nigga name when you talking to a girl. I mean, but some niggas if don't, it ain't positive, some niggas don't get play like that. So that that's what I've brought do. up. I've brought up my niggas name plenty of times to women on some positive shit. Like, yeah, my boy getting his shit together, shit like that. But not on no, yeah, this nigga he ain't, he ain't shit. Like, it be niggas out here, yeah, that nigga ain't shit. He be so-and-so, so-and-so. Well, I mean, if he don't get no play, then, I mean... I but... don't know. I don't think you should be right here saying another nigga ain't shit. Like, that's wild. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. That's and wild. then, you know what be the... You know what be the... The fucked up part? What? The girl they be pillow talking to, they'll come back and tell us. Or they don't even really want them. Like, you doing all that pillow talking to a girl that don't want you. At all. Oh, it's so sad. Because oh, it'd be you, so you like, sad. She's like, yeah, these niggas do that. Oh, it'd God. be so sad because it'd be like, they be in your DM on that shit. Like, yeah. oh, when you going to leave that nigga? He don't treat you right. He don't deserve you. And I'm just like, bitch, I don't want you either. I just can't <laughs> see. Like, I, I remember doing it when I was younger. Well, not saying it like that. Like, I want that hoe over, nigga. I was some, I was a whole ass nigga. But I'm just saying, like, I just don't remember it being on like this scale yeah. of being like, I can't see a grown ass man telling a, another woman about some shit he done done. Like that's wild. They do that. That's wild. They bro. do that. I'm over here trying to concept. Like that's a concept I can't conceive. Bro, that's a concept. I can't it's sometimes see. this shit shocked me one day because I I had got a girl number. I got a girl number right. And like, this ain't even like, this ain't even like 10 minutes after. The girl know my guy. Uh, oh, like, the nigga called me, bro. Are you talking to so-and-so, so-and-so? I'm like, I'm like, bro, how you know this, bro? My look, bro, she was so-and-so, so-and-so, bro. She ain't shit. I'm like, I'm like, bro, this ain't even 10 minutes after I got the number, bro. I'm like, bro, this shit ridiculous, bro. So is it reverse pillow talking? Like for your nigga, like a nigga you know, for him to do some shit like this, it's like reverse. About a girl? Like, yeah. Like say you be like, fool, I just got down on so and so, and I tell you some shit like, man, she a hoe. I think this, what would you call that? Is that reverse? High end. Talking? Would you call that high end or low end? 
Me? I, I call this shit high end because it's intentional. Yeah, because yeah, he, it's in, intentional. he's intentionally trying to deter you from talking to him. Yeah. Because he talking to us, so he... Well, uh, not necessarily because he talking to him. Or he wanna, maybe. Or his homie, yeah. my homie told this, homie told Yeah. Because you know sometimes... That's what it was. It was some, my homie told this type shit. Yeah. So I'm like... So that is pillow talking, though. Real but talk. What, what purpose did they serve, though? Nothing. Nothing. You know why? Because she still fuck with me. <laughs> well, Damn. Well, on, the, Nothing. On, the, on the wax Whoever this is Off the meat rack <laughs> Fuck you talking about <laughs> Fuck all that Well at least we know you won Man I always win Oh, oh damn I always win damn. So my, my thing is I'm gonna ask y'all So any situation where y'all feel like y'all pillow talked And y'all would wish y'all didn't Type shit Cause I can say I, I did, and I feel like like I like looking back on it, it was like, it, and then what's crazy is like I told it from a, I did it from a perspective where I made it seem like I didn't really like the chick, mm-hmm. and I would like make up like, like damn brother, dude, you with him really, you know what I'm saying? You should you should go talk to one of my friends, yeah, because one of my other friends liked it too. So I'm like, man, fuck him, he ain't on shit, mm-hmm. and then go 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 talk to him. But that wasn't for your own benefit though. It was in my mind because I feel like man, that nigga don't deserve him. <laughs> that was beneficial to you. Hell yeah! yeah. Oh. <laughs> At that time, nigga, you got real. I'm like 16, 17. In my mind, that shit makes sense. Because I was gonna say right now, that shit made no sense. That shit dumb as hell. <laughs> now you say that shit out loud, you like, damn. That was some stupid ass shit. Because I can understand you doing it to try to get the girl. You weren't even trying to get her. You were trying to get her for your friend. That's In it. my mind, I was still getting her though. If the homie got her, we got her. Phew. That's that's a collective. <laughs> oh, okay. Niggas, if, niggas stick together now. That's what I'm saying. Like, if, <laughs> Do if, they really? Like, my niggas stick, my niggas stick together. <laughs> I was going to say, a lot of y'all be having friends and they really not y'all friends. That, My niggas stick together. And that's indicative. This is off topic, but that's indicative to who you are. What you mean by that? Like, if you got friends that ain't friends to you all the time, it's probably because you not a good friend to them. Hey, that shit kind of deep, deep, Lou. Yeah. Deep <laughs> as hell. That's kind of deep. Yeah. So when people always be like, damn, I'm on a tangent. Sorry, y'all, for the tangent. <laughs> but when people be like, bro, I ain't got no friends. Or people don't ever, I call them, do something they don't want to do with me. Uh... It's probably because you never come through. Or you're never in a situation to where they feel like you come through for them. That's probably why they're not good for I don't never have a problem asking somebody to do something for me. But I always come through. Mm-hmm. Always. Always. That's called accountability and reliability. Yeah. But back to it. So what y'all think? Have you ever done it, Mia? You ever pillow talked up? Even in that vicinity or that realm of pillow talking. I think it, if I have, it was something so minimal that I didn't recognize that I was doing it. So I, can, never, I can understand that. You ain't never threw no salt in the game for, for a dude you trying to talk to. Hell no. I'm, I'm the baddest bitch. You see, you going to fuck with me or you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got Trina over here. <laughs> okay, Trina. Okay, with hey. me, it was once I was in Kroger with my homeboys. And you know, you know the... You know the women that be standing like by the self checkout, they be making sure everybody's straight and shit. Oh, self checkout and tennis. I hope you ain't talking about who yeah. you think I'm talking about. No, no, no. I remember a bad bitch that used to work at Kroger. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> this was the Kroger in Horn Lake. Then she had a, oh, I'm talking about the Kroger in like over there by DC. No, no, no. She was bad. So I unfollowed her. Sorry. <laughs> she had so basically, she was uh, she was making sure everybody's straight, and my homeboy was like kind of like trying to holler at her and shit, mm-hmm. and I knew I seen her before. So I kind of, I ain't gonna lie, I did kind of like butt in a conversation. I was like, damn, I know you from somewhere, don't it? And I kind of had like a casual Smooth conversation. Yeah. <laughs> so I had like a casual conversation with her. Then when we left out, my boy was like, damn, bro, you, you cock blocked me and shit. And I was like, damn, bro, I ain't even realize this shit. Because I kind of like interviewed. They was like, he was like in the stage again, the number and shit. And I kind of like, you know what, what I'm saying? That ain't, that ain't, it ain't necessarily like all the way pillow talking, but I did kind of like cock blocking them and shit. Cock blocking and pillow talking are two different things. Yeah, I feel like those. Yeah, those are separate. Like, can they happen in the same span? Yes, Possibly. yes, yes. But yes. those are separate. But that's the closest I ever came. Like, other than like talking down on a nigga to get some ass, I don't have to do this shit. Yeah, I ain't never talked that. Well, I wasn't getting ass in high school, so 
Jesus. That's also a problem. So I wasn't really talking down on anybody. So I can't, I can't say that. So like, I mean, I feel like I've done it. I feel like everybody had done it. But I feel like it's an extreme though. I mean, a lot of things do it on a regular basis though. It's kind of like, that's their plan of course of action, I guess is the better word. That's their course of action to get a female is to talk down on another nigga. Well, if that's their course of action, they need to do something with themselves. Cause... Like when I first got to state, it was so many niggas that would try to talk to me and it would be like, they would be like, oh, like you shouldn't fuck with bro because of X, Y, and Z. And I'm like... Yeah, that shit is pillow talk. I was like, that shit weird, bro. Like, why are you doing this? You think you think you think a lot of Memphis niggas do it? Hell yeah! Oh god! They <laughs> Hell yeah! Y'all feel like Memphis niggas pillow talk? Yes, bro. Yes. Y'all and must ain't never met some Atlanta niggas, a niggas, uh, LA niggas and shit. Niggas not from down here. Uh uh-uh. uh Them niggas will slime you out for a bitch so fast, <laughs> bro. Memphis niggas do it too, though. But like they a little bit more subtle with the shit. I I, I can say that it it, it seems kind of subtle to me. I feel like they're more blatant because they so country and shit. They don't know how to hide. Man, shit. don't forget the Soto County, man. The, the Soto, <laughs> these suburban ass <laughs> niggas in the Soto County. The Soto County is most definitely top two in pillow talking. <laughs> I'm not even bullshitting. I mean, it's not that big. We don't even got no. Bro, they top two, bro. We don't even they got top that two. Many to be pillar talking over. That shit explains why they shouldn't be top two, but they are top two. And who's number one? <laughs> you talking about in the area? Who number one? In the area, Memphis. probably some private school there, niggas. The Memphis private school kid. Anybody? Who I think Memphis school? number one though. Memphis number one pillar talk. Yeah. Damn, pillar talking capital of the world, Memphis. Yes. Hell nah, you gotta say No, you said the world, nah, not the world, but in this know. area we in, I was like, yeah, they number one. Nah, them Mississippi niggas for sure. It's I'm a tie. Pretty, I appreciate I'm pretty sure. I Tied at number one. I think it depends on what part of Mississippi that they from. I feel like everybody from Mississippi pillow talk. Ninety percent. Oh, cause <laughs> ninety fucking percent. <laughs> Except for my niggas from West Point. Them the only real ass Shout niggas out to them heard. niggas from West Point, my Shout dog. out to them niggas from West Point. Shout out to them guys. Mississippi? Yes. Yes, sir. Really nigga I ever met Tree. Shout out to my nigga Tree. Shout out to that boy Tree, <laughs> Trout, <laughs> no, Quincy, sir. all them. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't forget Bob. Bob, hey. <laughs> no, sir. I worked in West Point, Mississippi for three and a half years. Them niggas talk. About other niggas. Hey, them niggas we just know. I know damn why they ain't do this shit. We gotta get Tree on the podcast. Hey, we get Tree on this motherfucker. It's gonna get out of hand. Tree for president. (laughs) Fuck you talking about Tree for president. Tree for president. I'm tripping. So, all right, let's let's see. Everybody say. uh, So, what do y'all think is the solution to stop the pillow talk? How could this be done? What could prevent people from pillow talk? Keeping it a stack. People need to have better confidence in themselves. Like, I be feeling like the niggas who do that pillow talking shit, they really don't have confidence that they going to get the bitch without trying to make them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't feel like they better than whoever the bitch is fucking with. So they try to make themselves seem better so they can get her instead of just having the confidence of I can get her without it. I agree. But at the same time, you have niggas that been doing this shit for years, and their shit is just not gonna end <laughs> oh, it's with no real, them. So it's just it ingrained be, in them. So you think it should be repercussions? Yes, bro. What type of repercussions? Are I ain't you gonna say that, bro. But it should be repercussions, bro. <laughs> real shit. Like well, I mean, if nobody is calling them out on it, I mean, at that point, bro, what repercussions is you gonna have? If you pillow talk to get the hoe, you shouldn't be able to fuck. Man, look. I mean, if you got a pillow talk, just talk to me in the song. <laughs> Yeah, damn. Talk to the homies. <laughs> Talk to the homies, bro. Get some homies. advice from the homies first. Hey, bro. Like, I still go to my homies and be like, hey, bro, how should I approach this girl type shit? Like, I feel like niggas don't do that. I feel, yeah. I mean, but you can't ask everybody that type of question because a lot of niggas don't know how to approach But if you people. got real niggas and know you got real niggas, you should ask them. Yeah, you can't be just around here slamming niggas out, though. That's fucked up. That's, That's fucked it. up. I done it. I ain't gonna lie. Back in the day, I did this shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, this I mean, shit but lying. you grown. Like, that, that story I told you, I know him do that as in like fourth, fifth grade. Oh. Thank and this shit been happening. <laughs> he like, been sliming folks yeah. out. But yeah. Look, yeah, he should have cut his ass. It was everybody ain't able to podcast. You know, it's your boy J Mac. It's your boy Ant. Damn, man, you was a little bit <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 I was still, you know what I'm saying. 
And it's me and y'all. Hey, I want to do something different, y'all. Let's make a little toast to uh, people not being able to say what they want, man. Because hey. we don't say what we want on here. Comedy strike. <laughs> yes, sir. And we out. I need someone to help me. Help me. I know that you can't feel me. Feel me. When you meet the real me. The real me. It's something that you can't see. Can't see. I need someone to help me. Help me. I know that you can't feel me. Feel me. When you meet the real me. The real me is something that you can't see